Hello, welcome to Smart DE training demonstration. I'm going to be walking you through a Smart DE general operating support application. This is the homepage for Smart DE. It is smartde.smartsimple.com. You'll see here at the top. So here you're going to log in. Uh, you don't need to worry about um, registering if you are a current grantee or if you have applied in the past. If you are a new applicant and you need to register, please email me at kathleen.dinsmore at delaware.gov or you can email delarts at delaware.gov. Okay, I'm gonna log in. This is your homepage. Um, it'll have some links at the top if you need to click on any of them. You wanna to go to opportunities. You'll see a few options. Here's general operating support with a deadline of March 1st, 2021. Click on apply now. Since you're logged in, um, your information is gonna auto-populate for a few fields. In order to see that, you need to click on Save Draft at the bottom. You'll see you have six tabs here. You'll see your organization information pre-populated, the preparer, which would be yourself, and then the year of incorporation. So this is just um, a basic uh, tab about your organization. Wanna answer these questions. We require at least two contacts per application. So if the organization director and the board chair are not different than the preparer, please put in an alternate contact. It's a good idea to click Save Draft as you go about filling out your application. You can always log out and come back to it later at any time. Just make sure you don't accidentally hit the Submit button until you're ready to do so. And then you'll put your mission statement and a brief description of the community served. The next tab is program information. You're gonna give a succinct title for your arts program. Even if it's for general operating support, just do your best to put in a descriptive title, but don't make it too long. The start date will also auto-populate and the end date. You don't wanna change those. This is the period of support for the grant. Uh, the grant. September 1st, 2021 to August 31st, 2022. Here you're gonna enter the number of artists who participated last year, participants from last year, artists participating this year, other participants this year, and then artists participating next year and other participating participants next year. You'll see anytime there's a red asterisk, the question is, um, requires an answer. If you don't need to answer a particular question that has a red asterisk, please just put NA. Okay, you can click Save Draft. Before I go further, just point out some links at the top. General Operating Support Guidelines. General Operating Support Scoring Rubric and some grant writing tips. Then you'll go to your narrative tab. Here's where the meat of the application is, uh, in addition to the financial tab, which we'll get to next. You wanna uh, do the best you can in 100, 1,000 words or less to describe your programs and activities. You can also refer to a previous application and um, copy and paste that in here and then edit. It may help you um, formulate your answer. Here are the three criteria that are in the scoring rubric I just showed you. Artistic quality, availability of the arts, and management. 
There are some bullet points to help you answer these questions. At the bottom, again, there's a red asterisk, so it's required. If you don't need to answer this question, just put in NA. Okay, going to the financial tab. You'll see the end date of the last completed fiscal year, end date of most recent annual financial report. And then if there's a discrepancy between these two dates, as there often is, please just offer a brief explanation. Here you wanna enter in some fields. Um, these are pretty self-explanatory. And this is going by your fiscal year, not the Delaware Division of the Arts fiscal year and not the period of support, but your fiscal year. Make sure that these numbers in these fields match what you're going to put in your financial, the uploads that you're going to put in for this section. Specifically, uh, the treasurer's report, review statement, or audit. Otherwise, you'll be getting contacted probably by me to um, go in and check your numbers and make some changes so that they, these fields reflect what's in your uploads. We need your 990, either a postcard if you don't need to file a 990, or the actual 990 that, you, that you've done for the most recent fiscal year. Want to click on the upload button, this will take you to the file manager. You want to click on the folder down here. There's a two gigabyte maximum. This will take you to a list of documents that you can click on. If you have any questions specific to your organization, please email me directly. Again, it's Kathleen with a K dot Dinsmore at Delaware.gov. Here is some guidance about the size of your organization. Um, if, you, if your operating expenses are less than 250,000, we just need a treasurer's report for your most recently completed fiscal year. This will be an internal document that your treasurer may have done. We need something a little more uh, detailed for operating expenses between 250 and 650,000. This would be prepared um, by the certified accountant. And then operating expenses exceeding 650,000, this would be a certified audit. Here you wanna put in a budget comparison, two years side by side, a column on the left and a column on the right. Please report in-kind donations as a separate column. And you can put um, an asterisk at the bottom of the budget to explain any significant changes um, from one year to the next. And of course, for last year and this year, there will be significant changes for most organizations because of COVID. Okay, I'm gonna click Save Draft. Just to show you, just to remind you to do that. Then you're gonna go to your Support Materials tab. Here we need a board list with this information. Every organization applying has to have a board. Here's the upload button. Staff lists may not apply to you um, if there's no paid staff. That's fine, you can leave it blank. Support materials you see are, you'll see are also not required, but it is a good idea to include them. You can also include a strategic plan if you feel that may be helpful. There are two different kinds of documents that you can upload, two different kinds of files. You can upload a PDF or one of these files. Just make sure it doesn't exceed two gigabytes. You can also put in a hyperlink if that's where you've got uh, support materials that you want to show us. Um, if you have a particular website for a particular program. And here it is. 
and you can just put in a hyperlink. Save and close out. Okay, um, last, that's, that's, that's the application. Again, um, if you have any questions, please email me directly. There are a couple of features I'll point out. One is the PDF of form, which allows you to see a clean copy in PDF form of your application. The other is notes at the top left. This is our preferred method of communication with you while you're filling out your application. Instead of sending me an email um, about something in your application, please click on notes, click on the plus sign, put in your question, click save, and I will get an email prompting me to answer your question by going in and putting in another note. Then you'll get an email that I've sent you a note. And instead of replying to that email, please log in to your application and add a new note. Once you're done, you wanna click Submit at the bottom. When you do that, you'll see a bar at the top that says, congratulations, your application has been submitted. You'll also receive an email saying your application has been submitted. That's it for this tutorial on SmartDE. Thank you for joining us today and we'll be in touch.